Hello everybody, my name is Lale and you're watching A Happy and Healthy Life. I hope everybody's doing good and having a wonderful time. Welcome to my channel. If you have any question or any suggestion, you always can leave me a comment and I always answer. Uh, or if you wanted to share your own story, please uh, leave a comment or you can always message me uh, by email. So you can find my email uh, on uh, about, you know, part of the, this channel. You can go there and find my email and email me. So anyways, week 20. Yeah, week 20 is uh, always known as halfway there, but it's not necessarily always... Uh, that for everybody sometimes is sometimes is actually more than half for somebody and sometimes it's less than half for somebody so everybody has a unique um pregnancy so don't you know compare yourself with others i know it's something we all we all do but don't compare yourself with others and think because they're doing that or they having that experience you have to have it too everybody's unique Give that chance to yourself and your body to experience it your own way. Yeah, and be happy about it. So week 20, yeah, my um, my doctor scheduled this appointment for me to go and um, see what's going on. All right, I'm going to tell you, if you still not done it, uh, I'm going to tell you what you expect in that um, or what happened in that, you know, ultrasound. Or at that ultrasound you go, uh, it's usually done by a technician. It's not a doctor. Mine wasn't. If it was a doctor, you're lucky because they're going to tell you everything there. But if it's not, technician usually don't get, give you anything. They don't comment on anything. So they send it to um, a radiologist, a radiologist, um, and the radiologist, you know, tell what the heck happening <laughs> so they send it to your doctor and then you have to talk to your doctor so yeah mine was the process like that but if you are so lucky that uh, you know radiologist is there to you know tell you that's that's really good so yeah in that um section or appointment it's going to be a little bit longer than usual ultrasound that you do um or your doctor do in her office or his office it's gonna be um, around at least 20 minutes and mine was like 40 minutes because the baby moved so much and she really couldn't um, you know have a, you know time to take pictures so she has to do it again and catch the baby again in the right place in the right time <laughs> and then she could measure again so it was a little bit yeah chasing the baby for me uh, but yeah, it's going to be at least 20 minutes ultrasound. Uh, it's going to be long. It can be longer like mine was. Um, so they're going to go, what they do, uh, they're going to look for anything they can see in an ultrasound. They're going to um, measure all the bones, um, legs, you know, arms, and the ma major ones. Okay. And make sure they all, you know, develop to the you know point they have to be uh, they're gonna measure the skull they're gonna uh, they're gonna look for the heart measure the heart see how heart is functioning they're gonna measure even the brain they do a lot of things um, they're gonna they're gonna look for everything you know uh, look locate you know organs all of them so yeah, so they look for everything and anything they can find. And why week 20 is the best? Because the bones structure is still soft and they can see they see, see through still. So they can still see. And uh, baby, um, but at the good point that everything, it has to be in the right place now. So, um, yeah, organs are still developing, you know, to be better, you know, more function, whatever. But uh, in that, you know, week 20, you know, um, genital area, uh, you know, not comp I mean, is there, you know, like for boys, you know, testicles are out, you know. They're, you know, sometimes they cannot tell it's a boy or girl because it's still in, inside, you know. So... 
it's out. You can seriously see it's the baby, gender of the baby. Um, you can, um, they can check for, you know, heart, you know, any birth defect, anything, uh, you know, possible to see. So, yeah, so I'm going to see what, I'm going to tell you what happened. So we finally figured out what is the gender of the baby. And it's a girl. Yeah, it's a girl. So we have a girl and we are so happy. I'm so, so happy and grateful. I just a little bit still nervous because I still don't know if everything was good, you know, because she couldn't tell me. <laughs> she said, I cannot comment on anything. I just can tell you the gender. And how big is the baby, you know, how much weight baby, you know, so it's the only thing she could, she could tell me. But, I mean, I know it's a little bit, you know, nerve-wracking, but at the same time, when you lay there and watching that TV in, you know, ultrasound, kind of some of your worry goes away. I don't know how to explain it. But she gave me... Um, um, yeah, so I told you I want to record it and share it with you, but not always what you plan gonna go the way <laughs> that, you know, you know, not always what you plan is gonna happen. So yeah, it didn't happen the way I wanted to do. They didn't let me to record because it was their policy. You cannot record audio or video in this building and even they she printed some pictures for me and she even i had to sign a paper that it was i know what is these papers are i'm taking out of this building so it was really really restricted you know policy and it was really devastating because i don't have any recording of my baby and just it was sad but you know I just lay there for 40 minutes and just watch the movie. <laughs> if something like that happened to you too, make sure you ask the technician if she she or he records it for you. What I mean by that, some of these, some of these ultrasound machines have recording systems. So when your technician doing their own job, whatever they're doing, uh, at the same time, they can just push a button and just record it but unfortunately mine she said oh this machine doesn't have that sorry I cannot record it so I don't know everything <laughs> so but make sure you ask that because this uh, technology is not really new my friend her older uh, child is eight years old this year gonna be and so just, I mean, it was eight years ago, so I don't know why they didn't have it. They didn't have it. Most, a lot of places have it, so if you're lucky enough, they have it. You can have that, you know, as a, to watch it. They record it in DVD and give it to you. But mine didn't have it, so I just had to just sit light later and, and watch it. And you just hope everything is okay. <laughs> um... Okay, so yeah, um, I'm going to show you some of the pictures she um, printed for me. Um, baby was a lot bigger. Pretty cool. That's baby. So here the belly. Uh, two, uh, in the two, um, in the, here and there, there, baby's hand. And face, eyes, and this is the bone for the nose and chin. Pretty cool. So, yeah, we finally, I told you the baby is a girl. Um, we're really happy. It's just, <laughs> it's just so amazing, you know, that how much this baby moves. I mean, you remember in my last video, I told you that I can tell where the baby is laying. And I told you it's in my right side, right here, right almost here. And and when we went there, and when she said, she exactly said the baby is there. And it was so cool. So, oh, yeah, I was right. So, 
yeah anytime i feel like it's hot there and it's a little bit harder i can i can tell the baby is laying there another thing is when i told you um i feel like butterfly trap there sometimes like moves and i feel like it's a movement of the baby and exactly when she was doing the ultrasound and you could see too and i felt that and the baby was kicking me <laughs> kicking inside so that's the right feeling i guess so that was the movement <laughs> and yeah so trust your own instinct you know nobody told me that's a movement but i felt it so here it is baby's ear it's from the behind of baby's head and spinal cord i mean spinal yeah here right there looks like a train wreck and so now now because I did a lot of research and stuff now I know how they say it's a girl bro because usually we don't know <laughs> so here you go and here is in the middle is that the baby's um, part you know gentle part um, so here the bottom the little you know, baby butt cheeks <laughs> And these are the legs from behind, okay? Uh, so here, for girls, you see three bright lines, as you see here. For boys, it's not like that. It's something out, actually. Really, really small, though. It's not really big. But um, she told me, you know, 99% is a girl. And I think she's right, because I took um, look a lot of pictures of ultrasound of a boy and girl and compared to each other and I think um, it's yeah 90% 99% as a girl uh, oh I'm gonna shoot this um, on top here is my placenta and oh they, they actually sorry about that they actually measure and locate your placenta too to see if it's in the right place because it has to be uh, above. Um, they have they have a name for it. I forgot. Um, but if it's um, uh, they measure your um, cervix, you know, they, everything they do everything. <laughs> That's why it's gonna take a long time. So um, it's fun though, you know. If they don't even let you record it, just enjoy it. You know, I enjoyed it. You know, so fun. It's just like you're watching a movie. Here's the baby's feet, and my foot. It's the leg, you know, the shin, whatever. Pretty cool. To me, it looks, you know, normal. And here's another shot of the baby's foot and leg, knee. Um, actually, don't see the knee because the hand is right there. It's arm. This is the arm. Yeah. <laughs> So, here's the baby's spine. See, pretty cool. And here's the baby's arm and the fist. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at this picture every day. <laughs> so here the here's the baby's um, his belly, and here the face and skull. Um, as you see here, see these? She said these are like bubbles coming out of her nose, her nose or something. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, this picture here is really cool too. Here the arm, leg, foot, leg, complete leg, arm. Very, very cool. I don't know why, but it maybe sounds a little bit crazy, but. <laughs> From the bone structure that I see in the pictures, this ultrasound, 
I told my husband that too. I said, I think the baby gonna look like you more than me. And he said, why? I said, because, I mean, the bone structure and the face just looks like you, not me. <laughs> I don't know. But we'll see at the end. So, but I think even the, even legs and, I don't know. Oh, and something she told me, I asked, I forgot to ask how long the baby is. And I kept the baby, but I didn't forget about it. So how big is the baby? How much baby weight? She said, uh, for now, for 20 weeks uh, that you are, it's normal to be 10.2 ounce, um, a little bit less than, um, you know, like you are, you know, 16, 16 ounce is like, like a pound. And so she said, you have to be like 10.2, um, 10.5, something like that. Uh, and she, she said, the ba your baby is 14, almost close to a pound. I said, oh, it's too big, isn't it? She said, oh, I don't know. But um, I said, I hope not. I hope the baby is not too big because the labor is going to be really hard. Um, and I don't want to do C-section uh, because everybody who did C-section, they have all this problem, you know. I don't know. So, um, yeah, and I'm afraid a little bit the baby going to be big because um, I was a really big, big baby when I was born, uh, when I was born. And uh, my sisters, all of them kind of big too. So I was 11 pounds baby. So just imagine that. Big. My younger, my older sister, she was seven almost eight pounds almost eight pounds not really eight pounds but almost eight pounds um baby i was 11 my younger sister was nine pounds so we all were kind of big babies but i was really big and i because of i was too big and my mom has a bigger you know she's bigger than me has taller she's taller than me she's um has um she really doesn't have really big bone structure but she's taller than me and when you see her she, you know she's just bigger than me you know normal you know body but she uh she couldn't deliver you know natural and she for me the only one so um she had to do a c-section for me and because when you do a c-section the next one has to be c-section too so for me and my younger sister she had to do c-section and I don't know, but it's something to have in mind. I want to talk to my doctor, see what she thinks. Uh, but yeah, uh, baby is bigger. I don't know, chubby baby. So, <laughs> uh, but I hope everything is healthy. I think if somebody, something was wrong, maybe my doctor would call me, but I don't know. Maybe she's waiting for me to go there. I'm going to go there uh, on 4th and we're going to talk about everything happened in that ultrasound. So, um, yeah, uh, another th what else I want to tell you? Uh, so, okay, if you're waiting for that ultrasound, you're so excited and want to go see what's going on. Um, if they don't have any policy recorded, it's going to be once in a lifetime. If they... Um, have the policy like they had in that place I went. Don't record it. Don't make you fool of yourself. You know, don't do that. Um, always ask them if they um, give you a recording, you know, on the CD or DVD to you. But they, if they do it, if their machine do it, they give it to you. So don't worry about it. And um, another thing, if not, they're going to give you a lot of this kind of pictures. As many as you want. I told her just print the ones I can tell as a baby. <laughs> so she did. The other ones, you know, like the medical things, I told her, um, no, I don't need those. Uh, but um, so I, the ones look like a baby, I grabbed those and she was nice enough to actually do them in a, you know, bigger, um, bigger and good quality. So, uh, yeah, um, just later and enjoy it if you cannot record it like me. Uh, but if you can, like good for you. That's awesome, you know. Um, so I think I covered everything happening in that, you know, well, ultrasound um, section you're going to have. 
Um, I don't think anything else I can add to to it. Oh, I, I actually, you know, well, you have to go to that ultrasound with the full bladder. So, and you know, for pregnant women, it's not really hard to have a full bladder <laughs> to go to ultrasound. And um, yeah, so gonna be fun. I, I promise you're gonna have have fun and enjoy it. Um, yeah, I think I'll, if everything, I hope you, um, if you have any question, if you have different experience, let me know. We can, you know, always talk about it. Um, so I'll let you guys go um, and I come back in the next video and talk about my week 21. So till that time, I hope you enjoy your life and be positive and uh, bye